Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we need to get this war with Houseland under control because of course we need to get Houseland under control. Other things that we need to get include Kanem, Jimmy, Falada, and Wadai. All of this needs to come under our control and we have economic woes and on top of it we can start upgrading these to level 2. Now we can see some of these are already going. And that's what we would prefer. We're going to upgrade our castles first, and we're going to hope that these automatically upgrade themselves, or rather, not automatically, but we're going to hope that the vassals upgrade them for us so that we don't have to spend the money. For the time being, we need to get this under control. Can we see here? Yes, we can. Perfect. So that looks fine. I'm wondering what their plan is up here. They're currently sieging here, which I don't believe is the war goal. No. The war goal is here. This isn't even our territory, is it? It is. It's part of Lower Gurma. What is that war? Uh-huh. A vassal in the kingdom of Hauseland. Okay. So we want them to win that war. Cool. In that case, we're going to send some troops over. So, let's split off these lads, as well as a couple units here, as well as our knights. There we go. Something like that should do. And we're going to send them on up. Yes, they're going to take some attrition on the way. That is understood. I want you to be here. I want you to be here. Okay. So, that's all fine. Securing those trade deals will indeed fill our treasury, and we need gold right now is what we need so i want to check what that did minus 19 okay that's fine we are going to walk over this way with the idea being we want to stack wipe this army that is the idea we'll see if we end up getting there uh we lose legitimacy okay i'm not happy about it but it's fine we're going to head up over this way for the moment ah right here sure absolutely and we're going to eliminate them so that looks good. No problem whatsoever here. We are taking attrition, which is, I guess, a bit of a problem. So that's a stack wipe. Beautiful. So this war is over. And with that stack wiped, they're at minus 19 at this moment. Here's what I want to do. I want to end this war. Put our troops down. Then, declare on this guy, pressing her claim. But we can't do that. She's not a direct vassal report. Okay. Well, we'll see what ends up happening there. We need to go after probably Canem next. But we also need to get some of this gold spent. It's, it's going to be a bit of a problem. Do we want Seize Gizur Duchies only? Okay. We don't have a claim here. Do we have someone who has a claim? Possibly. Actually, there's this guy. Sure, that seems good. So he arrives at our court, and we can declare war pressing his claim. However, we're going to need to demand his conversion. His opinion of us is only plus 10. Okay, 70% chance he agreed to the conversion. That's perfect. That's going to help matters a lot. So that brings us down to 1875 in terms of cost. Looks good. We'll declare this war. And we're going to need to raise up a fairly small force here. We'll raise up our men-at-arms. We'll raise up a few levy troops, but it's not going to be many. Only about 3,000 levy troops is what I'm angling for here. And then our men-at-arms. Okay, so they're going to head up over this direction. And this war against Houseland over here, we're going to want to deal with. Yeah, I'm thinking about how we want to structure this this particular war here. So I'm going to do something about like this. These guys are going to head out and make a lay siege right over here. I want these guys to come over here and eliminate this force. I don't want this to be the victory for Houseland. That said, I don't know what's going on with that war. If that war doesn't end up playing out, it doesn't actually matter. So that's okay. We must spare no expense to rebuild, but I'm sad about it. We're going to walk down over this way. Yes, show in the Farbus. That is absolutely fine. And I'd like to stack wipe this unit if we can. Unfortunately, we're going to have to walk down over here. Noted. Okay. They're coming back over here. So they're probably going to make a beeline for these guys. I don't know if they have the forces for that. We're going to stack wipe here and make our way back. But we're not going to be there for a while. We'll be there in 
three months. Actually, they're heading down this way, so that seems absolutely fine. No problem whatsoever there. So I'd like to eliminate these guys and get that siege going. There we go. So they're gone. Next, we're going to head up to Yao. Our, the regent furthered her mandate. I guess that's okay. She's more powerful, which is less okay, but we're going to come down and fight these guys. No problem whatsoever there. We are going to get ourselves a new chancellor. This guy's really good at the job. Skill 34. I like it. <laughs> that's great. And we do have a child on the way. That's fine. How are we doing on our spouses? Okay, we only have one for the moment. That is absolutely noted. They're fighting out over here. Take all the commoners you need. Okay, we don't actually need the levy for right now. So if they're fighting there, then these guys are going to get turned around. I want to head up over here, and we'll head to this mosque. Oh, that's a mosque. Okay. That uh, looks like a castle, but it is actually a mosque. We'll get that sieged. Four months on that, and on their capital, five months. This is likely to end the war. If we had gotten the stack wipe on their army, it would be almost certain. Unfortunately, we did not. Wait a second. Did we just... No, she did not die. Okay. Something changed here. Her power sharing went down, and I was like, hang on. But no. Actually, she's only at minus four opinion now. We've managed to sway her up quite a ways. She wouldn't accept any of these, to be clear, but that's fine. Do we have anything in our inventory to equip here? I mean, the architecture of trade. We've got this sword, I guess. Sure, that seems fine. We don't have a lot there because we've been focused extraordinarily heavily on our economy right now. We're still pretty far behind economically, and that is a problem for sure. So this siege is wrapped up. That is absolutely fine. There is a dangerous faction here. This is an independence faction and a populist faction. Okay, that's intriguing. These guys are too weak to send an ultimatum, but only barely. I'm wondering if we do something like this. Yes, that looks solid. As far as this goes, what does this guy have? I mean, he's the wrong religion. We'll ask all of these guys to convert, and if they do convert, they're going to lose some opinion, but they will also leave this faction. And they'll join a different faction, but maybe that faction won't be a problem. No, I'm not paying for your gold. Sh or rather, I'm not paying gold for your conversion. A lot of them actually did accept. Two of them. Half of them accepted. So that looks good. No problem there. Let's head down over here. We're only at 79% war score right now. But we've also only got two sieges to go. So let's grab this army. I'm going to split it in half, and we're going to walk down over here. We had a sun. That is good. And five months here. 21 months here. Yeah, that's not surprising. And 19 months here. Okay. We will forever live in his shadow. Okay, that is fine. And unfortunately, our regent was caught trying to embezzle again. There's not a lot that we can do about this regent for the moment, but we're going to continue to try to sway her. We're at 79%. Will this end the war? Actually, likely. This will likely end the war. I also want to check in on what's going on here. Ooh, that's looking good. Okay, so that is solid. We gain an unpressed claim. Whatever. Okay, 98%. That's not ideal. We don't have ticking. Munio was worth 19.1. Huh. I must have mathed that wrong. I thought we needed 15. <laughs> I guess we needed 21. Sure. That's fine. So we're going to wrap these sieges up eventually. There's five months left here. 13 days left here. This is going to end the war. Obviously. So that is all fine. We will enforce those demands and disband our troops. Cool. Next up, we can grab Hercout, and we'll definitely do that. I should have went for It Is My Domain. For some reason, I thought I had that. We could reset the perks for stress, but I'm not going to do that. We'll just get that later. We are sad about that, for sure. Now, Hauseland is very likely to come under our control from this war, because this is currently a vassal of our vassal, I believe. No, wait. A vassal in the kingdom of Hauseland. Okay, so that's not going to be a thing. That's noted. We're going to need a different claimant. Okay. We'll work on that. 
we can get these done over here quite quickly. We can just do a county conquer. We can do a county conquer. Actually, this would be a duchy conquer. De jure duchy? De jure duchy. And that should have been a de jure county almost certainly as well. This is a de jure county. Yep, do it. Okay, so we're going to raise up our forces here. I'm going to raise men-at-arms, a small amount of levy troops. We don't need many. Something like 3,000 again should be more than sufficient. So this is good. Our men-at-arms will be arriving shortly. Okay, we're going to head in here. And these guys are just going to run around a bit. That's absolutely fine. The voice of reason, huh? Well, this is our Hogan here. So we'll gain 15 opinion. Getting our Hogan happy would be great. He's not fully endorsing us right now. So that would be magnificent. Now, these guys are going to want to leave behind a small force here. And we're going to head down to here. We want to put a siege leader in here. Perfect. We're going to go stack wipe this unit, and then we'll go siege these. So that all looks perfect. By the time we get here and get that stack wiped, these guys can pivot up northward and siege here, and these guys can come over this way. Excellent. 300 gold paid to us is solid. And there we go. That's going to stack wipe. Excellent. And we're going to head up over here. I was hoping we'd, had a, we'd have a breach by now, but unfortunately we don't. But this will be done in two months. No worries there. So I'm just going to station besiegers here. And these guys are going to head up to Jimmy. Perfect. So this looks fine. We're going to be done with this siege very shortly. A vicious scheme to steal our artifact. Very rude. Very, very rude. Okay. So Wadai is completed. We're going to enforce our demands there. And we don't want to hold that ourselves. We'll grant that out. We can't grant that because it, it should be leased out to our court chaplain. Right. That should automatically happen. But I want to grant this. Right. This needs to be leased to our court chaplain. This happened previously, and it uh, automatically happened eventually. The war with Jimmy is over. We're going to enforce those demands, and then these guys can come back over here. Yeah, there we go. That automatically was granted out. And we'll grant that to a noble of the Bobo culture. We're at 11 of 12 right now. We actually could have held that, but it doesn't matter all that much. It would have been slightly more efficient to hold it. But it's only slightly, so that is fine. Our regent is still being a jerk. How old is she? She is 60 now. Eventually she'll die. That's for sure. We'll keep an eye on Hauseland, and we just need to get these sieges completed. So this is going to be four months, and this is going to be five months. No problem. Absolutely A-OK. -okay. So we've just about got all this territory that we lost back under our control. That looks good. They actually fought us for some reason. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. We're going to enforce these demands and disband our troops. Fantastic. So now Hauseland is a thing, right? She has taken over, and we could offer her vassalage. We are her rightful liege, but she has 200 reasons to not do this. So we're almost certainly going to have to push somebody else's claim. Well, that's not ideal. Okay, so how do we want to do this? Well, this is mostly part of Kanem Bornu. Okay. So, we have a couple of options. We can piecemeal it with de jure duchies. I don't like this idea. I really, really do not like that idea. As far as the Kingdom of Hauseland claim, there's very few people who actually have a claim on the title. Okay, let's look at the title history here. So, installed by faction demand... Conquered by Populist Revolt. Oh, wait. That's weird. Okay, so she inherited it. Then she inherited it. Then this guy, Populist Revolt, took it over. And then a faction demand put her back in power. That's wild. <laughs> okay, but unfortunately, he's landed and is the spymaster. So there's just no claimants here. Hmm. Well, that's very awkward indeed. I suppose we could try to offer her vassalage. I don't think this is going to happen. 
yeah, I really don't think we get there from here. So, backup options. You don't have a claim on Houseland. We could fabricate claims. This is something that we can do. It would take a while and would be pretty expensive. I don't think it's ideal. Honestly, at this point, I think we are better off just doing de jure duchies. So we just start carving into it like this until we have enough to create the kingdom ourselves. We would need six counties, so that would only be two wars in theory if we chose those counties correctly. Uh, let's see here. This is two counties. This is three counties, three counties, two, and three. Okay. This is going to cost piety because defender is our faith. I mean, we want the de jure. This is much better. <laughs> there we go. So I think we'll go out over here. We would just need to conquer two counties, and then we'd be able to usurp the kingdom. And then that would allow us to take this back over relatively easily. So we'll have to wait out a truce. That's okay. Let's raise up a siege force here. And then we're going to start working on our economy. Okay, so this should be sufficient. Stop gathering. There we go. We'll head in over here. And we're going to station besiegers. Is that automatically going to move our onagers? Because it should. It does. Perfect. I want to walk up over here. And I want to stack wipe their army. In we go. What is this? Oh, bad air. Uh, 300 gold. Sure, but I'm not happy about it. No, get out of here with that artifact demand. There's also a faction, and what is this faction? Populous again. Okay, uh, we can definitely deal with that. This, Some of these we can probably try to demand conversion. Reasonable chances. Do it. Okay, so that guy converts, and that should solve the problem. No, I'll not bargain for your soul. Cool. We did not stack wipe that, but we did win the battle. Let's hop up over here. This siege is going to be done in just 40 days. So that seems fine. I want to station besiegers here, and we're going to move these guys up here. Like that. Yes, show in this Farbus and his 50 gold. Absolutely delightful. We are very happy to get 50 gold. No doubt about that one. That faction is back. Okay, we need a new marshal. That is going to be this guy. And what is this? Same faction? Yeah, same faction. Okay, that's not shocking necessarily. So all of these guys, we have no conversion option. Oh, we do. Never mind. 56% chance. Does that handle it? It does. He converted. Perfect. No problem. So we finished up our Siege of Rano. We're going to walk in over here. Do we have a Siege leader here? Yes, we do. Okay. We're going to get this dealt with. Where's their army at? What? Hang on. I'm very confused right now. Smiles, man. Okay. Uh, a miserable paranoid knight. Yes. And I guess we could become a drunkard. We had enough spare domain limit there, so that's okay. We no longer control any of the counties. Okay. Weird. So I'm going to station besiegers here, and we're going to head off over this way. We'll take attrition. That's okay. So over we go. I want to check in on the status of our aunt here. She has a positive opinion of us now, despite being our rival, which is... Kind of wild, to be honest. A lot of that is because we're Herculean. Okay, sure. I'd love to end this Regency, but there's absolutely nothing we can do on that. We just gained a favor hook on her. Interesting. So, what can we do with that? Can we absolve that hook? For opinion? That would be nice. We could also pardon her. That would be 15 opinion. So we'll do that. That moves her up to 23. And she's now currently even. Okay. I love it. So that's looking good. We're going to hop up over here. There we go. And fight these guys. We can grant vassals over to rightful liege. And we should absolutely do that. Although we're going to gain a lot of stress from doing this. That's painful. Okay. So a stiff drink does indeed solve most problems. Okay. That looks good. So we're going to fight these guys up over here. That greedy is not great in terms of stress, but this war is over. We're going to enforce those demands and disband our troops. 
Fantastic. We're going to need the duchy title, so we'll usurp that. Perfect. And that's going to be granted over to this fine gentleman right here. Not the empire, the duchy, and the titles underneath it. There we go. So that looks good. Houseland is now carved into a little bit, but we're going to have to wait out that truce. For the time being, we should come in and start getting capital upgrades done here. We've not finished the Battlements innovation yet, though, and when is that going to be done? Well, first off, let's check in here. 14 Core Granger, that seems okay. Just plug the hole in the floor. And we'll speak well of him. Cool. Okay, so when is Battlements going to finish? Sure. So to that end, we're going to need to start upgrading some of these, right? We need the Windmills innovation to upgrade that. Okay. Intriguing. I expect it to be able to... Oh, it's already level 2, isn't it? It is. Yeah, that'll be it. So that's fine. I want to, for the time being, be working on these holding level upgrades. So that looks good. This ransom is absolutely acceptable. Appoint a tax collector. We're not taxing our clan vassals. This is new. We haven't seen this yet. Presumably because we didn't have clan vassals before. So we can appoint two tax collectors into two tax jurisdictions. We'll appoint this one. And there's this tax jurisdiction here as well. This is the same tax collector. Yeah. So we would have to do something like this. The tax decree is basic taxes right now. Opinion of liege minus 30. Yeah, that's not shocking. Just taking a quick peek through these. So Zakat would probably be ideal. But this will make vassals very sad. And that's okay. That's what they get for being, a, for being clan. So we have one taxpayer here. This guy does not actually need to be here. We don't have a need for that tax jurisdiction. So that'll be okay. We'll start to get some taxes there. Yep, all of this seems reasonably fine. And we do have disease somewhere. But we want to go after Houseland again fairly soon. We're going to need as much gold as we can get for right now, though. I also want to get this stewardship perk. That is, it is my domain for sure. Because we absolutely want to extort our subjects. Now, where are my loyal subjects? Unfortunately, this is losing us legitimacy, and I don't want to do that. But we'll consider it an extra test of loyalty, which is, of course, going to allow us to come in down over here and start to work on upgrading some of these holdings. Beautiful. One of these holdings, I guess. That's fine. We'll call the sheep, and that is absolutely okay. So there's still a lot of level one holdings over here for sure, and we're going to let them upgrade their own buildings if they want to for the time being. We're focused on getting upgraded to holding level two at this moment. So we're currently making 26 gold per month at this moment. This ransom is acceptable. We need a new spy master, which is going to be this arch priestess. Interesting. Well, this Hogan is currently maximally endorsing us. So that is very solid. No problem there. And we've got another ransom here. This is acceptable. We should go through these and demand payments. Absolutely. And we should also ransom some of these prisoners. Actually, every single one of these prisoners. Okay, we'll just go through all of these and get as much gold as possible. This will be a decent chunk of gold, actually, all things considered. And you're already... Okay, sure. We're going to need to wait a bit until they finish accepting these ransoms. There will be another set of ransoms in theory. Our regent just died. Okay. About time. So, this is our new regent. Can we just immediately get her out of here? She'll not accept this. What if we send her a gift? Well, that wouldn't be great. We should probably just sway her. Okay. So we need her opinion to come up. Gloryhound disapproves of defeat, but approves of offensive victory. Sure. Offensive war minus 33, short reign, not rightful liege. High taxes. Yeah, that's, that's a thing. Limited crown authority. Yeah. Okay. So overall, what we need to do is just get her opinion up. That'll be fine. Someone should summon the physician. Absolutely. 
A soft approach is best. And it was successful, so that's great. Now, we've got 600 gold at this moment. Yes, there's another 50 gold coming in. Beautiful. Let's upgrade this temple. And we're going to want to get these upgraded as soon as possible, all to level 2. And we can see here, this actually upgraded monastic schools to level 3. That is amazing. We're very, very happy to see that. Now, we have too few spouses. We should probably do something about that. That is hurting us in some opinions. So I don't really care who these spouses end up being. As long as they're lowborn and they're not bringing in bad congenital traits. So let's bring in some of these people. Sure. That all seems fine. We do need a new steward. And that is going to be this person. Okay. Okay. There we go. Excellent. Lives are gold, huh? Trusting and greedy. Ugh, gross. Regent revoke title, huh? Hmm. Sure, I'll allow it. But what we need to do here is we need to... What was I going to do? I had a plan, and then that distracted me. Oh, right. I was going to work on stress. Okay. We should indulge in drink for a little bit here. There we go. And that will handle some of that. We'll also work off some stress. And we could lose 30 stress for each of these. Okay. Sure. We emerged victorious. And that did lose our stress a little bit. Good. So that's fine. Being at stress level 1 is reasonably okay. Being above that, not so much. That's for sure. So, 29 opinion, still situational loyalty. Would she accept any of these? Uh, whoa. What, what was that? That was very strange looking. I think I clicked on something and I don't know what. But okay. <laughs> what I'm checking in here is 22 reasons, 22 reasons, 22 reasons, and 82 reasons. Okay. So we can probably get away with offering her piety once we get her opinion up a little bit. Or nothing at all, potentially. So that would be really, really good. No, we're not going to get a secret faith. We can ransom off a couple of prisoners, and we should absolutely do that. I want to head in here. There we go. And there we go. Getting all of those completed. Looks like our acclaimed knights are not ideal at this moment. And we do have a disease creeping in up over here. Very sad. Okay. Okay. So there's a dangerous faction here, and this is an independence faction. It's a pretty big independence faction, to be honest. We can almost certainly do something about this. We've got our player heir slash son here. And this seems okay. Cool. So we'll get that dealt with, get an alliance with her, and no more factionalism problem. I like it. So this is a level 2 city here. This is a level 1 temple. We still need a little bit more gold to upgrade that. But what I'm interested in here is our sway finishing up here. So that's going to be done in approximately 2 months. Okay. That's reasonably fine. Looks like this disease is backed off. That's very, very good. We're happy to see that. And the sway has finished at this point. She is still situational loyalty. She has seven reasons not to do this. The current scales of power are 21 of those. Let's leverage piety here. She's going to lose 10 opinion from this. And that puts it at 11. Okay, so we just need a little bit of opinion here. She is landed up over here. Wait, is she landed not in our territory? That would be insane. No, it's over here. Okay. That makes more sense. So that's reasonably fine. But what if we were to look at the duchy titles? We can't usurp that. Hmm. I was thinking about giving her this duchy title. She's now less powerful again, though. Hang on. I don't want... Well, 300 gold for the control level to drop. Done. 
we're going to take that gold. What I want to do then, of course, is I want to first off be working on our control level in Warodugu. We're going to get that brought up, and that will come up slowly, to be sure. But it will come up. That will also allow us to upgrade this temple. So we'll get going on that. Next up, she's less powerful, apparently. Three reasons. Two reasons. Okay. There are exactly two reasons here. What else can we do? Well, we could get our opinion up a little bit. We could toss her some gold. We could toss her a court artifact. That would do the trick. We could give her this war banner. That'll be two opinion. That's probably not enough. No, there's one reason. Okay. So, how is her opinion ticking at this moment? I feel like it's mostly ticking up? I think so. Oh, the betrothed of our son and heir died. That's probably for the best, to be honest. She's now at zero reasons, and why are you bothering me with this petty squabble? Indeed. We do need a new counselor. That will be a new spy master. Looks good. We're so close to getting this done. We're going to allow this. Because we're at zero reasons right now. Oh, now she might accept. There's a 3% chance of acceptance. Okay, we're going to need to continue to work on that. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue to upgrade our holdings and hopefully get out of the thumb of this regency. And we're going to continue to work on Houseland. We're truced right now, but we'll get there. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Atala, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Sockerman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.